Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, Thunder Chief building action. Brought to you in the AM. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got a little bit of sleep last night. <laughs> Took a big old nap after dinner, man. Ended up staying in the shop till three in the morning. <laughs> I got that I got that plug primed. But man, I laid the primer on it hard. It's I gotta let it cure out for a while before I can sand it. Uh, but I, I this afternoon I want to get it laid up. Someone mentioned that uh, uh, that flange was going. Wouldn't that make it uh, shorten the ducts? I'm gonna. Uh, but it's no problem. I, these are too long. I'll have to trim these anyway. But that, that flange is gonna work out just splendidly, quick and easy. Bam. Now what I got to do is I got to put my bulkheads back in here one last time for a dry fit so I can get my rudder post in. Then I can cut all the wood from my rudder and get that bad boy laid up for my vertical stab. <laughs> I got this marked where I want that post. Okay, I laid a straight edge on here, put my square on it so it'll be square with the world, alright? Now what I gotta do is stick it in here. One thing, uh, the hardest part of getting all this fit back here was uh, these bulkheads or these deals here. They kept wanting to rotate, you know, while we was trying to put them rods through there. Then we didn't know at what position they was. And uh, you know, if one was cocked this way and one was cocked this way, we went in there and marked everything, it would have been wrong. So what we ended up doing is uh, gluing these blocks in here uh, just to hold them things straight up and down while we get everything in position. And I was thinking, man, how are we going to do this on all these others we make without having to fight it, you know, and go through this every time. You know, and I remember them old Byron kits. Remember they, he had holes drilled in his fuselage, you know? Where you put, you know, toothpicks and put your bulkheads against them, glue them in, it's perfect. Well, I was thinking about putting this back in the mold and just drilling holes all the way through my mold and everything. And I got thinking, no, you know, if I can just keep this in place and put a rod through there every time, all I got to do is go around there and it's done deal. But this is the, the headache. So, talk to Paul, he's going to make us some of these that are just stationary with no crimpers or nothing that won't rock back and forth that I could do then all I have to do is make sure this hole right here is in the same exact same place every time and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in my mold before I glue this in you see if I glue this in, you know this fits in there kind of tight if it's pushing just a Frickle too much one direction it won't go back in my mold right so I got to put that back in my mold go you know just a half at a time go inside there with my score all and mark these holes in my mold okay and then when I score a circle in them uh, every few slides I pull out will have that mark and that will be in the same place every time I got these all I got to do all my holes are right. Get these bulkheads cut out and drilled. Bolt this in there. Slide it in. Put that shaft through there. Glue it up. We're good to go. Because I know where the back goes. It goes right here. And I also need to mark the hole for my rudder post. Do that in my mold. And no, I think that'll work. But I didn't think I was going to be able to even put this in there with these together because it, it don't fit <laughs> but if you hold it just right I can get it in there
Put my rod in. Now it's in position and it's all square and we're all good. This bulkhead is just on the back of my chute hatch and that pin lines up so I don't need to drill any holes in any of these and uh, all I gotta do is mark them holes and we're good to go. Alright, so I think I'm gonna have to get that mold drug back out of the basement this afternoon. Because I'm uh, about ready to glue these bulkheads in and I don't want to hold it up. Since I get this rudder post cut, we're good to go. Alright. Now, if I can see, man, that's the worst thing about these bifocals. You can't look up, man. <laughs> I think I can get it though. You guys wear glasses out there, that same problem. It's just my little drill. I got these bits that fit in here. And that little screw gun, that works pretty handy. Don't turn very fast, but... Right in the center. Got a little flashlight on it, too. right there. seam I knew it wasn't going to be that seam wasn't on the center and uh, I knew it and it was cool because this ain't on the center too and when I make that hole it'll be on one half of my mold the scribe mark you know seconds. I need, to, you know, I need to get that hole drilled out to this size. But you're going to have to catch that in the next video. <laughs> Hit you with a little clip here. Lovely step bitch. Quick and easy and it keeps them centered. <laughs> 